Hello, uh, welcome back. I hope you're doing well. Today, I want us to discuss about a hydrometer. Hydrometer. A hydrometer is used to measure the specific, specific gravity, specific gravity of a liquid. Specific gravity is also known as uh, the relative, the relative density of a given substance. Now the question is, what is relative density? Relative density is the ratio of the density, density of a substance, density of a substance divided by the density divided by the density of a reference so this can be so density of a substance that let's say we are looking for maybe this can be a substance of interest substance of interest maybe we want to find uh, the density of water we want to find the density of uh, uh, maybe some oil density of uh, maybe sugar solution uh, so the density of a substance that we're looking for over the density of reference reference substance for you to find the relative density we must have uh, the substance that we are referring to that that acts as our reference most of the case the reference substance uh, I've seen in IGCSC uh, in 844 we use water and actually most of the substance this is because the the density of pure water is about 1 0 grams per cubic uh, centimeter so if you're supposed to define this now that we know that uh, the reference substance in most of the cases is water so instead of writing here reference substance we can just write density of of pure pure water <clears throat> so with this if we know the relative density of our given substance with respect to the density of water, then we can able to calculate using this formula here. But sometimes we don't know the relative density. <laughs> what we know is probably the density of water, and we even don't know the density of the substance that we're looking for. So it becomes difficult to use the formula, and that is why we have hydrometer. Hydrometer is widely used uh, by producers of honey. Uh, syrups so those are interested in producing uh, honey some syrups uh, you want to know probably the concentration of, uh, of a substance maybe you have some sugar sugar plus water remember the relative density of water is one because if the substance here is water and the, yeah, there is water so that will give us a ratio of one. So if you add some sugar, the concentration of sugar uh, in water affects the scale within the hydrometer. Now what I want us to look at is this. I want us to understand how to read the hydrometer, the parts of the hydrometer, and then I want us to also to maybe do a few demonstration of how to determine the relative density of a given liquid with respect to relative to the density of, of water. So let's begin. Hydrometer can appear in different forms uh, or different uh, shapes. So hydrometer can appear in different shapes, as you can able to see. Uh, this is uh, what we have. Uh, it's made of the glass. Uh, so you can able to see there's just there's a glass, there's a scale, and also you can able to see it's made of glass. Now uh, it has a bulb. This one is very clear. You can able to see uh, this bulb here is made of uh, it's made of some weighted uh, lead shots. Uh, this is very fine one. You can able to see this clearly. This is uh, weighted lead shots. So the lead shots here are put here so that you can able to float upright and uh, to ensure its stability 
uh, it has scale here. You can able to see. Uh, you can able to see. Let's focus on this one here. Now the scale uh, starts from the top. That is from one to you can able to see to two. So the relative density uh, is from one. Uh, so that is 1.1. .1. So there's a division between them. You can able to see here clearly. So the scale you're seeing here is used to make to measure the specific gravity, the specific gravity of a substance, which we have said is also known as uh, the relative uh, relative density. So let's do some measurement. Uh, I have some water here from the tap. Uh -huh. I'll use uh, this long one. So as you are putting water here, we want to measure the relative density of water and also to find this density. So as you're putting water, can we uh, ensure that uh, there is no bubble formed uh, by just pouring water slowly. So you just push it a little bit, then uh, allow, it to, allow it to swing until it settles. So we can take the reading. Uh, let me bring it closer. So you can see the scale. Huh? So with the water level here is at uh, at one point zero zero zero. Now, uh, as we said earlier, relative density of a substance is given by the density is given by the density of the substance. I can call it S over the density of of water. For this case, the substance we're talking about here is water. The relative density we got to be 1.000. The density of the substance we're talking about actually is the density of water. And the density of water we know is uh, 1.0 grams per cubic per cubic centimeter. So if you cross multiply, because uh, relative density is a ratio, it has no unit. So therefore, the density of water from here is proven to be 1.0 grams per cubic centimeter. So that is how we can use the formula to find. So let's find the relative density of a given substance here then we try to work it out now i have some glycerol here there's a glycerol so i want us to determine the the density relative density and the density of uh, this glycerol here is with me uh, let me we need to wipe this just to ensure that uh, it's clean, has no water. Uh, the glycerol is also clearless, but <laughs> it's oily. Uh, so just what we did is to lower until it gets the support and then allow it just give it time. Try to push it down. Let's see. Push it down. Let's see. Until it comes down. It seems to be denser than that. It seems to be denser than water. Let's just uh, see the reading. I think it's stable. Uh, this is uh, this value here. Just need to lower the scale so that we get a clear view of uh, the reading. Now you you can see clearly. Uh, just get uh, 
can see clearly uh, this is 1.2 but there is uh, there is 1.25 here so if you are reading the below the meniscus this will be 1.2600 1.2600 that is the relative density of uh, this liquid uh, uh, just a minute from the reading from the reading if we use uh, this formula here so as you said the relative density of a substance is given by the ratio of the density of a substance uh, with respect or compared to uh, the density of the standard or the reference substance and for our case here it is water now the relative density what you have found there that is 1.20 sorry 1.26 1.260 which is equal to the relative density of the glycerol let me use g over the relative sorry a relative density 1.260 is equal to density of the glycerol which I'm using G here for the case to mean the density of uh, the glycerol over the density of water now the density of water as we said earlier density of pure water is 1.0 grams per cubic per cubic centimeter when you cross multiply we will find that the density of the glycerol density of the glycerol will be 1.260 times 1.0 grams per cubic per cubic centimeter this gives us 1.26 into 3 significant figures grams per cubic per cubic centimeter this is the density of the glycerol density of uh, the glycerol is indicated uh, here you can able to see this this identity uh, which is 1.26 grams per cubic centimeter. So you can see how accurate uh, our hydrometer is. Now let's understand how we can use hydrometer to measure the concentration of solute in a given solvent. Our solvent here is we are still using water. Uh, the solute is have some sugar here. So we want to compare the sugar concentration and how we can able to know that uh, the water we are having uh, you know the concentration of sugar in a given amount of water is more concentrated as compared to the initial one so the initial one we actually saw that uh, the hydrometer uh, was giving us a reading of one now what you want to do uh, is to to add some sugar add some sugar As usual, uh, just to confirm that uh, it's dry and clean, and then we lower it carefully. We lower the hydrometer to the zero solution. So you can see clearly uh, this is the level of water, uh, which is about. Um, actually it's slightly below 1.5 the meniscus if you can see it clearly 1.5 is just 1.5 the meniscus is just 1.5 1.5 the relative density of the solution that is uh, sugar plus water uh, is giving us 1.5 so you can able to see that uh, the solution of sugar and water uh, that is uh, sugar and water is actually denser it's denser than water alone and you can able to advance your skills more or understand what is going on uh, under this topic that is a uh, particulate particulate nature nature of matter
Now, under this topic here, you will be able to understand why sugar and water is more denser than water. Than Today, I just wanted to show you that a hydrometer can be used actually to, uh, to measure the different concentration of solutes in a given solvent. Uh, it's used widely uh, for those who are making the wine to determine how much sugar is in a given wine. Uh, used in those who brew beer um, and the rest that we mentioned, uh, which included uh, that is making of syrups, making of syrups, <coughs> and even honey to know determine the density of honey. So, hydrometer has a wide range of use, and now you know how to use a hydrometer, what is it used for, and uh, where do we apply it in real life situation. All the best and uh, see you in our next video. Bye.